Hello everyone, welcome to Great Online Training. This is Naidu. In this video, I will explain SAS Certified Specialist Practice Question number 7. And I have already explained some videos earlier. So I'm just attaching it in the card statement. So please go through it. And if you are interested for more videos, be subscribed to my channel. And click on the bell icon for interesting updates. So let's get started. In this question number seven, so we have a, a data, we are just creating data work dot input is a data set. We are creating it. There we have column one as a where one and column two as a where two, two character variables. We have it. And within that we are trying to create some rows like a one, a two, b three, a sorry, c four and a five and run. Now, so once this data set is created so that uh, five observations containing uh, two way uh, five observations with two variables containing data will be get created and the question is after that we are taking that as a input of, uh, to create a new data set I'm creating a two new data sets here one is work dot one and work dot two is the two data sets I'm creating it here set I'm copying the information from the input data set if uh, where one okay the condition is if where one equal to a then output work dot one semicolon and output so here we are writing the output twice so what exactly it makes sense the question is mainly how many observations will be in this data set of work dot one so once you will get it how many observations that you will get it some answer like a 10 observations or 20 observations something like that you will get some answer that observations a numeric answer you need to enter in this particular value so there will be a space for you. You need to enter that uh, answer there. It may be 20 observations. Then you need to write a two zero. So like that I'm expecting as answer, not as a spilling of uh, 20 observations or something like that. Just a two zero. How you will do that? So in this case, uh, we need to use our SAS. So let's say if without using a SAS, how many observations uh, we will get it. So we need to guess it first of all. So here I'm writing it. Five observations is already there. So definitely. The observation should be more than five only we are expecting it is not a five or below five because in the input data set itself we have a five observation so as it is we are copying it in five apart from that five we are taking if where one equal to a how many a observations we have in the data a with one and a with two and a with five three observations is there so then we are outputting it only that three rows we are just outputting it and we are just storing it as a work dot one as a data set Okay, the work dot one have a three observations will be get saved and again I'm writing output statement the work dot one data set is already Here it is created. Now you are trying to override those Okay, so now you are trying to override the work dot one have already three observations and now you're trying to append those values with the, all the five observations again so total eight observations you will get it you want to check that you can check it so let me just open my SAS studio and copy okay now SAS studio is open let me paste the program Okay, first we'll run this particular piece of code. If I execute it, how many observations you will get it? It's very straightforward. There is nothing wrong in this. Five observations containing two variables containing a data set will be get created. Go to your data sets, work library and a new data set. What is your data set name as an input? You open it to the input data set. Yes, it's there with us. The input data set with high observations containing a data is just got created. Now I'm trying to create a one more data set dot work dot one and work dot two is the two data sets I'm creating it set input if where one then output work dot one and output so because of this particular where one only three rows is there plus the work dot one data set is already there with output statement five observations five plus this three total eight observations you will get it if you want to check that you can check it now and execute it see how many observations you are getting it so total work dot one data set have a eight observations you are getting it 
So you go there and check it. What are those eight observations? So now you just open it uh, one data set. If you open there, you can see eight observations. So earlier you have a A1 and A2 and A5 is there earlier. But what I said now in my program, if A equal to, then we are outputting it. So A is one more time here. So it is just got duplicated. Again, A is one more time here. A is again duplicated and A is one more time here. So the three records plus the existing five records, total eight records, you will get it. So according to this, question and uh, in your PowerPoint presentation, the right answer will be how many observations in work dot one. So it is going to be eight observations. Okay. How many observations we have work dot two is going to be five observations. You will get it. So the output statement, it is just duplicating the data. So because of the duplication, it's already five observations plus three more observation total eight, you will get it. But second, the two data set, we are not doing anything in that. So it automatically copy paste of your input data set as it is into the two. So that only five observations is there earlier also. And now also five observations as it is, you will get it. So the right answer is eight observations. You will get it in the work dot one. That's it. That's all about for this question number seven. Thank you for watching and be subscribed to my channel. And if you like the video, click on hit and if you have any questions or comments, please write it in the comment section below. I'll meet you in the next video.